Namaste, Grazia. So nice to see you. Happy New Year to you. So nice to see you. Namaste, Kausto. I'm very happy to be with you. You are wearing my favorite color, so it's fantastic. <laughs> well, my dear friends, let us know if you are able to see us live and uh, you are able to hear our comments and talking very clearly because uh, we are not sure if you can hear us. We are sure that we can hear each other. Um, friends, this is a great honor for me today to talk with dear Grazia Sofriti. Uh, I can say many things about her. She is uh, not only uh, my student, but also my friend and uh, somehow almost a family member. We feel like that. We, I always wanted to have an elder sister and uh, Grazia is appearing in that form somehow. And Grazia is a power woman. I have to say this because in the world of man, in the yoga field, she is one of the rare trainers of yoga that is doing a lot of long-term training programs, long-term seminars and workshops and other things successfully, not just attempting it, but successfully. So it's very, very wonderful to have Grazia here. Um, and uh, before I say more about Grazia, I would just ask her to begin <clears throat> with uh, a small invocation because Grazia is also loves to chant. So, Grazia, over to you. Namaste, madam. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Upunaktu Sahavir Yankara Vavakai Tejas Pinavati Tamastu Mavit Vishavakai Om Shanti 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 Thank you, Grazia. That is so nice. Usually in many of these events, I am chanting, but it's a wonderful thing that there is a change so that somebody with a better voice is pleasing to the audience. Anyway, dear friends, Grazia is from Italy originally, from the great city of uh, Modena that makes the wonderful balsamico vinegar. And uh, I think it's also the place of the Ferrari, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so she comes from this wonderful city and probably because of the Ferrari, she is wearing the red clothes today to support the team <laughs> Ferrari. And in her past life, or rather the early part of her life, Grazia was actually an architect. And so she's a very artistic person. Um, and uh, she was working as an architect for many years. And then somehow she met yoga. Um, I think she met yoga in Spain uh, when she moved from Italy to Spain. And uh, she has been living in uh, Spain for many, many years now, almost uh, Spaniard because she can speak very fluent uh, Spanish. And uh, she is living in a very beautiful town called San Sebastian in the north of Spain along the coast. It's a very beautiful place. And Grazia is teaching there. And uh, I'm very, very pleased because Grazia and I met probably about 12 to 13 years ago. <clears throat> uh, so it's uh, more than a decade now. So I'm very, very pleased to present uh, to you today, Grazia, my dear friends. And uh, Grazia, welcome to our Vini Yoga Shakti program. <clears throat> and uh, if you don't mind, maybe you can say some things about yourself uh, in a few words of your own. I hope my English is 
enough clear for the people because uh, it's not my first language. As you said, uh, I'm Italian and I'm living in Spain, so my English is not so fluent. But, uh, you know, I, I, I uh, actually I found, uh, uh, I knew for the first time uh, uh, yoga in Italy. And uh, it was uh, after the death of my sister and my loved sister. And uh, I, I was uh, uh, 30 years old. I mean, it was a long time ago as I'm going to, to, to have my birthday. You know, if you, in a couple of weeks, I, I will be 61. So it was a long time ago. And I, I met my, uh, my first uh, yoga teacher and she was a woman. I loved uh, very much. She was able uh, to teach in a way that uh, could help me. So I, I began to, to practice yoga because I felt that was helping me in a very difficult time of my life. Uh, uh, during the years, I decided so to deep uh, the study and uh, I began to study a uh, yoga teacher trainer in Italy. But I finished he uh, here in Spain uh, because uh, along this time as uh, the teachers of the group of the training they were they were spanish men <laughs> and uh, i i knew uh, my first uh, husband uh, traveling to to spain so i got married and i began to live here in the north of spain and uh, long and a lot of experience have happened, but uh, just uh, leaving Italy, I decided, as you said, to leave my, my first uh, job that was uh, as uh, an architect. I, I was uh, actually working 15 years, almost 15 years as architect there in Italy, but in Spain, in the, along this uh, almost 26 year that I'm living here, I, I'm, I've only teach yoga and uh, i think that uh, it 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 is it was a very very big change but really it was my path it was my dharma as you said it was my dharma exactly <clears throat> it's a very good uh, dharma that you chose and you are doing it so brilliantly gracia my first question to you, Grazia, is a very simple question, a very open-ended question. How do you feel to be a woman in this era? A woman in this year, era. era uh, in the time, in these times. In the time, yes. Um, uh, I have to say that uh, my experience is very good. I think that uh, in some way uh, to uh, to be woman in the Syria is uh, some kind of good karma because uh, we uh, just from my uh, my age or I mean people that uh, women that have born that, that were born in the 60s like me uh, uh, they had the opportunity to study as uh, men and to have the same life as men. Uh, that's why I, I feel that uh, I didn't have so much uh, difference in my life. Actually, I found a lot of uh, men also working with that uh, they were saying more than one time, it's much better to work with women than men <laughs> because they are smart, because they are uh, dedicated, because they are finding a solution easily, because they want to create a system of cooperation and collaboration. And so it's, it, it, there is no competition. It's easier. Um, I have to say that now maybe things have changed in some way. Mm, as change uh, uh, on one side because my feeling it is that a lot of women are trying to uh, or are developing a way to connect with their 
life and job uh, through a, a, a man way. And so they are in some, uh, they are leaving some, some deep and extraordinary quality that uh, femininity has. But uh, in my experience, it was, uh, it was not difficult to be a woman and to live as a woman <laughs> these right. 60 years. <clears throat> I, I completely agree with you that it's a very extraordinary time in the world now and perhaps in the future to be a woman. And that's why I'm so pleased that I have actually a daughter and this is, I'm very excited for her. Anyway, coming to the <clears throat> next question I want to ask you, perhaps all our audience will be very eager as well, is to ask you what, how was your long path in yoga slowly coming to our Vini Yoga tradition? And I'm wondering whether you will be kind enough to share also the connection between that and maybe what eventually happened during your birthday in one of those years. <laughs> yes, I remember. Uh, yes, I'm I glad I, you remember. I'm <laughs> glad you remember. I remember because I was on red. Uh, yes, uh, you know my path in yoga was um, was uh, changing, and uh, I I began to connect with uh, uh, your tradition, with the Vini Yoga tradition, through a French teacher that I uh, was studying with. Uh, I began with him, I, I think, in 2005 or 2006. Yannick uh, Mercier, right? Yes, Yannick Mercier. Uh, he had been uh, studying with your father uh, in Chennai uh, different uh, times, and so he was teaching in this tradition. And it was the first teacher I had that was uh, teaching individual. And uh, for me, that was uh, something very uh, uh, unexpected and uh, so fascinating because uh, I, I, I began to study, it was preparing a, a, an individual practice for me, but I also was, was studying some topics. I, I asked him to, to teach me some topics. And it was the first time that I could ask and receive some, <laughs> Uh, some replay, some answer, uh, and uh, to my question, uh, you know, it's fascinating to to read books, but uh, a book cannot uh, answer your question. And so it was the first time that I I realized and experimented in myself that uh, the the powerful of uh, a relationship, direct relationship. Uh, through that, uh, I. I I decided to, to go to Chennai to study at the KYM uh, one month program. And uh, uh, it was there that yeah, I realized that uh, uh, you were proposing uh, some, uh, some uh, uh, program in Europe. And uh, I, I applied for, the, for the, my first uh, uh, study of uh, Patanjali's Yoga Sutra. I'd been studying actually with uh, this uh, uh, this teacher, this French teacher. I, I'd been studying the Yoga Sutra, but uh, I was fascinating in India because uh, uh, I was fascinating. You know, well, the first thing it was cast of that uh, each of my teachers were women, and it was the first time um, after the the my first teacher in the in in seminar in in the classes all uh, the other trainer were men and uh, for the first time uh, there were this beautiful indian women uh, chanting and teaching uh, each day during uh, one month it was really a beautiful experience uh, and then uh, i realized uh, that there was a, a yoga sutra um, seminar uh, of uh, 10 days i think and i was uh, and it was uh, when i began to study with you it was a beautiful seminar and uh, you know 
it was uh, uh, next year when we did the second part of the seminar that it was my birthday actually there and i received from custom <laughs> a t-shirt a red t-shirt red t-shirt with a big relax <laughs> with a big and it was uh, it was I loved it, but on on other part or other side, it was uh, shocking because it was, uh, um, Tamien to accept and realize that I was not relaxed at all. <laughs> yeah, and so it was were, a kind of mirror, kind of mirror. Yes, I cannot forget. <clears throat> But I'm not talking about that red relaxed T-shirt that you received, Grazia. But you also had some other gift on your birthday, which <clears throat> was during the Yoga Sutra class that actually uh, began, opened began the door my... for something else. So maybe that's something you want to share as well. Yes, it was uh, during the seminar that actually uh, it was uh, i don't know but each seminar it was during <laughs> during my birthday in january and uh, uh, the first uh, seminar of yoga sutra it was when uh, when i was celebrating with uh, my friend uh, piluka that uh, suddenly organized some kind of uh, of uh, surprise to celebrate my birthday and you asked me uh, what uh, what kind of wishes you have for for your birthday? We we are we used to ask something in uh, in, uh, in Western country during my birth during the birthday, and uh, I I I freely said uh, uh, I want to enter the 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 therapy training. I was not admitted in a therapy training because it was full, and uh, and uh, but in the therapy training at at begin the, the this year, and uh, uh, it, but it was uh, just uh, just a joke. I mean, I I didn't uh, talk uh, thinking that it was possible, but actually, Kostov made it possible. <laughs> Right, and Piluka that I have to also to, to thank because I could study with her in Spanish uh, language that it was so important. And uh, since uh, this year, uh, I've been studying in the Vini Yoga tradition and I will not leave it. Well, <laughs> you are not just studying in the Vini Yoga tradition, Grazia, you are... A very important uh, teacher in the Vini Yoga tradition as well. So we have to. We are so lucky to have you as one of the great teachers of the tradition in this current moment. And that brings me to this question: What is it that you resonate with Vini Yoga that you stayed for so long? What is the? What is it that about Vini Yoga that touched your heart? Uh, it is uh, the individualized uh, practice on one side, mm, the, uh, the experience in myself and uh, in, the t uh, in the connection with uh, my student, the important to have a one-to-one -one relationship, really to teach yoga uh, and uh, make uh, the transformation of the people possible, really possible. On other side, I have to say also that uh, uh, the Yoga Sutra, the, the, the focus on Yoga Sutra that as uh, uh, your tradition, it was so, uh, um, so deep for me to understand the real meaning of yoga and to experiment it also to teach and anytime I, I teach uh, uh, the Yoga Sutra, you have to say that, that I, I, I have to uh, thanks my students because I have to begin another time to, to study them and each time I, I, I'm finding something new. And so uh, these uh, two uh, aspects uh, and of the study has changed a lot my way to teach and the relationship with my student. Wonderful. What is it that you find in the Yoga Sutra that is so important for you? What is it that is in the Yoga Sutra that is uh, 
you find it fascinating. Why Yoga Sutra? Because some other people may not find the Yoga Sutra like that. So what is it that you find in the Yoga Sutra that is the magic pill for you? I find, I, I, I always uh, find an uh, uh, answer to my, my question. I always find uh, um, the uh, deep and the deep essence of yoga and uh, it, it is a way to uh, to maintain a deep uh, link with uh, the tradition um, your tradition and with the, the source of yoga and I feel that it's uh, so important especially right now, nowadays, uh, that um, uh, anybody can write a book on yoga and they don't have maybe much more than an, a personal experience that it is nice and interesting. But, you know, sometimes we, uh, we are losing the root, the root of yoga. And so for me, it's important to maintain. And I think that this part of my Dharma, actually, uh, when I teach Yoga Sutra and uh, I, I feel that people, they comment me that they, they say me, uh, to me that it's the first time that I can understand Yoga Sutra because it's not a book that you can read. You need a teacher and you need, you, you have to receive teaching to teach. You cannot teach Yoga Sutra if you didn't receive this teaching. So I'm so grateful to you. To me? And to, yes, did, to I, your I teaching. I Yoga Sutra. <laughs> no, if you, if, you, if you couldn't be able to teach Yoga Sutra in such a, a natural, uh, um, I mean, you can make Yoga Sutra practice real experimental as uh, something that you can live in your everyday life that's so important and that's something that i try to teach so i loved your last book for finally we have uh, this book on on yoga sutra that i hope that in few time we could be able to to translate to spanish too i i am very confident about that it will be translated in not only spanish but other languages as well and uh, we can see how much you love the Yoga Sutra and Patanjali because just behind your head, we have two Patanjalis, one in the book form and one in the statue form. So you must really like Patanjali very much. Uh, coming to another topic, Grazia, and this may be a little bit personal and you can choose how much you want to share and if you don't want to share, that's also okay. Has this approach of Vini Yoga <clears throat> helped you personally in any dimension like the healing or personal development or uh, spiritual growth or anything like that, which you are open to share with? Has there been any kind of value in these kind of domains, not just teaching students, but you personally, has something happened? Completely, totally. I mean, uh, I. Th uh... I think that nobody can uh, teach something that has no uh, experiment in and lived in, him, in himself. And so uh, um, any of the aspect that you, that you were saying as uh, uh, they, they has, uh, 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 how can I say, developed myself I mean, and, and physically, I've changed so much. My body has changed so much. My health has improved so much that, uh, and you know, I had uh, a health problem, and uh, and uh, and you have helped me so much in it. And then uh, um, mentally, this kind of relax. And it, it's not a, a physical relaxation. It is uh, to, um, to let uh, uh, such a trust in the mind and begin to trust in the heart. 
and so uh, uh, began little by little to uh, uh, let uh, this uh, kind of uh, control everything, organize everything that you know that is my my character in some way to be so pita. <laughs> And uh, so it, it really um, yoga, Vini yoga, because not yoga, uh, we cannot say that yoga is good. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yoga is not good for any people in any, in every moment. Uh, and uh, 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 it, it depends. That's the, the problem of group classes, big group classes, you know, uh, uh, each place they organize a, a yoga group and so people come to me sometimes with uh, some an injury or or a problem saying you know i've tried yoga but it's not for me so i'm not sure it's not for me because because the problem is that they are with a lot of people everybody is different and so Maybe they went because the physician told them uh, that for her uh, back pain, it was good yoga. No, it's not good. It depends what you're, you, you, you have to do for your back pain. It depends because the back pain of other people is totally different and needs different tools and different way to approach. And this brings me to the next question. It's <clears throat> more like there are different kinds of yoga, which you just talked about, which the doctors or other people just recommend, just go do any yoga. And obviously every yoga tradition is not the same. They are different. What I am more particularly interested in is what is your opinion? <clears throat> and more importantly, from your experience, what is your opinion from your experience of how <clears throat> Uh, Vini yoga is suitable for women because the woman's body is much, much different from the man's body and it's changing much more than the man's body as well. So what is your, <clears throat> because you've been with uh, the Vini yoga tradition for many years now, almost 15, 16 years now, how do you feel in your experience this is addressing the needs of the woman's body? It is related to uh, to teach individual uh, because uh, in uh, in on one side it is that uh, in in a yoga group uh, of course uh, we can find uh, men and women we can find uh, young and elders we can find uh, uh, any size of body flexibility strength. Uh, capacity of concentration breathing so it's uh, so there's so uh, such a variety that uh, a teacher in a group uh, has to more or less make something but uh, not always uh, uh, each woman uh, can uh, can uh, really uh, receive uh, some kind of help uh, in in this uh, experience but on the other side as you said uh, the the life of the, the women is cycle you know the the menstruation and uh, having children and uh, uh, the menopause is so changing the life of, of the woman that needs really something that could help uh, adapt but you know it's not only something related to hormones it's because the the sensitivity of the woman is different it's really such different experience and so uh, 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 having the opportunity to teach one to, to one it's really something that could, can help that can help so deeply to uh, uh, to be on on one side, you know, I can I can help uh, being on a side of this woman and uh, just uh, help her to use her inner strength. Find sometimes it's to find her inner strength and then be able to use and then to walk freely without me. That's something that Vini Yoga help to to learn how to. Uh, be on the side of a person 
uh, helping her to find something inside. Thank you. Two questions come to my mind from what you just shared now and also a little while ago. In the beginning, uh, when I asked you the first question about how do you feel like a woman, you were saying something that nowadays many women are losing the feminine uh, connection and they are trying to be like a man. And this brings me to that point because the woman of today is absolutely amazing. I think all the women are super women because they are working like they are, they are working a full-time job. You know, my mother's generation, they did not work a full-time job. Yeah. You know, they were taking care of the children and that was their job. The husbands were the ones who were doing the job. Now, many women, they are full-time working. Yet, yet, there is, the woman still is continuing to do the uh, job at the house of taking care of the children and other responsibilities. And many women are also single women, which means they have to balance many, many things uh, <clears throat> on their own. So the woman of today carries a lot on her shoulders. So what role do you think the Vini Yoga can play for such women who are carrying so much on their shoulders? What is it that it can offer? Mm, it's um, as you said it is uh, really that they are like a very powerful women women uh, as they are carrying such a big responsibility and uh, carrying such big responsibility because as you said uh, uh, lots of women are also living this kind of life being uh, without a partner so because they have decided also to to have sometimes children out of the of the the couple they have decided not to be with a man and sometimes they have decided to only to be alone or they are separated or divorced but they are working so much they are teaching that they, they are doing doing such a big work uh, I think that uh, I'm, in my experience, when I have to teach one-to-one -to, -one to this kind of person, it is uh, helping them to sustain their energetic <laughs> uh, strength because they have to support so much field, so different field in their life. And so sometimes it has, it has to teach a very uh, short practice energetic practice uh, that uh, uh, can that and you know 15 20 minute practice is not so easy uh, uh, to to having great and deep effect to sustain each each uh, th this person uh, it's something like a magic <laughs> so we need uh, uh, special tools we need really special tools, uh, very, very uh, deep tools. And I think that uh, uh, you cannot uh, uh, learn uh, these kind of tools uh, uh, from a book or from a seminar during a weekend. You have to learn uh, deeply and it is a deep study and you need uh, to study with a teacher that has experimented it and uh, that can, uh, help you to learn how to use it because something that is so powerful you cannot use uh, um, casually so vini yoga uh, teach that i think I, I was just going to say and that's where our vini yoga tradition is so uh, amazing because we are not standardizing the practice for every individual and we are not uh, making the practitioners feel guilty if they cannot practice the whole practice for one hour or two hours or whatever, but we are able to design what is suitable for them. Um, <clears throat> that's very interesting what you said, that it becomes their energetic support. So in a certain way, um, I feel that what you're trying to say is like, the Vini Yoga is like a sanctuary for the modern woman who is having so many responsibilities where she can put the burden down to nourish herself instead of always nourishing other people. 
The next, the second question that I wanted from your conversation is just before the previous question you were talking about the bodies of the women are very different. Yeah. Um, and uh, this is a very big issue. I also talked to Janet uh, in the first interview about this. Um, and uh, many, many women come to yoga nowadays. I don't mean in yoga, but generally to yoga with the idea that they want to lose weight, they want to look skinny, they want to look uh, attractive, etc. And that is their motivation to come to yoga. Um, what is your feeling about that? Because as a man, I can't have a justifiably accurate feeling. What is it that you as a woman feel? And what is it that you advise your women students about this issue? How do you approach it? Uh, it's, um... It's interesting your question. I think that um, um, what uh, you said, uh, uh, it's really happening uh, every time more. But in my experience, direct experience, uh, when uh, such kind of uh, women uh, come to my classes, uh, uh, I, my, my job is to help them to connect with other part of them you know to uh, to for example to uh, through uh, the breathing realize that what they are doing or they have learned uh, they are forcing so much her body they are not uh, uh, not at all the, uh, maintaining the contact with the breathing they are not making pause. They are not feeling that uh, the strength and the the, the excess of um, of uh, uh, energy they are putting in the form and not in 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 the function of what they are doing is uh, making uh, them uh, weaker, not stronger. So it's, uh, it's uh, trying to help them to see the reality. And you know, uh, uh, sometime they really break down. They begin to, to, to cry or they, they suddenly begin to, to, to trembling or to, to, to realize, they realize that there's something that is, uh, they are losing putting such a strength in the image, the outside image of the body or to using such kind of, of style of yoga that are much more designed for men than for me, women. And uh, it, it's so nice to, to begin this contact. And I have to help them to relax, to relax. <laughs> You are the best person to help them to relax because you relaxed finally after many, many years, Grazia. It I took hope. me a long time, but finally I could succeed finally. to make you relax. I, I uh, yes. um, uh, there's another question that um, I would like to ask you. Um, you know, you were part of the first ever yoga therapy training we did outside India. Um, and even in, inclusive of India, I'm sure. And it was uh, probably the only batch that experienced, the only first batches were the only batches that experienced uh, my father to be one of the teachers. So I just would like to ask you, uh, what, was, what was your feeling about learning from him and uh, what are your memories or if you want to some, share something that is special? Uh, yes, it's true, and it was uh, such a nice experience. Uh, I was um, uh, uh, there was something that was uh, so uh, so clear from him, and it was uh, a very humble man. You know, it was uh, yes, such a deep, incredible knowledge, but it was such a humble man. And so his, uh, his approach to us was, uh, was so uh, nice, so respectful, you know. And uh, uh, it was just the batch that uh, each of one, each of the students has to, um, to, 
uh, 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 show to the other group uh, the proposal to one student and uh, during the time you know uh, during the last month we had to find a student and teach individual uh, three or four classes uh, for a, a topic that it was on health of course and it was so nice because each of us were putting such strange things and complicated one and uh, and your father at the end after explaining it it was uh, why don't you avoid that and that and that and that and simply chant this mantra and simply put the hand and breathe and it was his solutions were so simple but so deep uh, energetically uh, really uh, helpful and so it th that was the, uh, um, what i learned so much that more uh, is not better less is better exactly <clears throat> exactly i think that's a very very valid point that was that is a perfectly describing my father because my father was an ultimate minimalist when it comes to uh, many things not just about yoga his practices were very simple but he was also minimalist in many other things like even uh, travel he was carrying only one backpack he had one clothes to wear and one clothes in the backpack that's all he had when he traveled uh, so in some ways, he is the ultimate minimalist and he was of the opinion that if you yes. cannot make something simple, then you have not really understood what it is. If we try to make things more complicated, it's not. So that's very good. Now, um, the other question that I have for you is just because our audience also like to hear some lighter things of life and yoga and things like that, because it's not just so serious. What is your most funny experience that you've had with yoga so far? funny experience yeah. <laughs> i i it's different you know uh, uh, i cannot uh, remember anything that it is especially funny i have enjoyed so much with yoga especially uh, the retreats i mean during the retreats uh, it's uh, it's uh, the moment uh, then uh, uh, when you can create a, a deep relationship with other people of the of the group uh, or also the teachers and so uh, they are uh, they were i think uh, uh, some of the most uh, enjoying times and so to laugh and to and to, because it's like that uh, when we ma we were making the retreats uh, they were very intense uh, such a longer days of study and the, uh, and the living together and studying together and uh, eating together. And so uh, I remember that it was really funny, uh, the time that maybe we could have walk and, and, uh, and uh, talk uh, maybe in, in, in the room uh, at the night, five, five women uh, laughing and, uh, and uh, like feeling like children. Yes, I, I remember that it was the feeling like being children and you can just do stupid things just and we were all <laughs> old men, old women. So it was like a, 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 a nice, nice experience. Nice to remember that I had. That's fantastic. I remember so many funny occasions we had together, uh, but some of these uh, cannot be shared with the very general audience. Um, uh, the other question I'm asking is also a little bit personal. Uh, you shared a little earlier about uh, the fact that now you are going to be very soon, you're going to be like 61, which means you are kind of coming towards the end of your second stage of life and slowly moving towards, you know, the third stage of life. Uh, how is, how is your perspective of yoga, especially Vini Yoga, our tradition, how is it uh, changing for you um, in terms of what tools you're practicing or what attitudes you're practicing or things like that? How is it changing for you now? 
Because obviously, 15 years ago, you were a different person. You were in your 40s. Now you are in your 60s. So obviously, things have changed. Things have changed a lot. But uh, as uh, Vini Yoga was with me, uh, uh, not only uh, uh, you changed my practice, you know, because you are my teacher, but I was able to change my way to practice. Uh, I mean, what I've learned, it is um, from Vini Yoga, it is uh, the ability also to uh, make little small changes every day to adapt uh, uh, the intensity, the deepness or the focus or uh, this mantra. Also to every day feeling that I have, every day experience. And uh, you know, I, I remember my first practice you gave to me, it was very strong. Mm, asana practice there was uh, it was with a mantra also and it was so uh, it, it was a big change in my life that began with this practice but now the practice uh, as um, less um, less asana but uh, deeper uh, deeper tools so uh, I, I i feel that um, now I am able, it's easier for me to connect with this energetic tool. Uh, and on the other side, it is that I've been uh, teaching to uh, elderly, uh, to uh, old people uh, during the last 20 years, uh, more than 20 maybe. And so I've learned so much uh, observing classes uh, in Chennai and uh, then uh, it was a topic of my my project at the end of the therapy training and uh, i loved so much my women and they are all women <laughs> because i don't know they they the the husband are are they 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 die and and, and more of them they are widow and the, the oldest it's 90 year old and she's a fantastic woman and uh, um, I've learned through them and through Vinay Yoga uh, how deep is help you can give to such a group of women. Uh, and they say, uh, you know, Grazia, I, I made some, uh, some uh, um, uh, test with uh, some medical test uh, last week and all the doctor was surprised because I could be so quiet, so calm, or after this operation, they told me, you are so able to move easily. Or so they, they recover in few time from any kind of illness. And uh, they say, uh, they, they mm -mm they suffer a lot of, lo uh, 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 you know, they, they, they have friends or husband or, or some, some of the family that die. And so they, they, they have to front such, uh, such an experience that, uh, uh, and in, during this 20 years, I've learned from them how to help them and now this experience is helping me through my elder time, I hope, I hope. It's, it's very beautiful what you say, and that's what I also feel is the greatness of the mini yoga tradition where there's no end limit for the person to practice. Um, even people who are in their 80s and 90s are able to be practicing mini yoga, whereas uh, not everybody who is in the 80s and 90s or in the wheelchair, for example, are able to practice other traditions because there is a limitation on what they can do. And uh, since you talked about these uh, older people and visiting their doctors and things like that, I want to ask you one question. Uh, you also teach, yeah, some of your students are also medical doctors. And I think there is one of them watching you right there. Uh, she made a yes. comment a time ago, Elena. Is is watching. Um, yeah. How do you deal with that? I mean, these are doctors who are supposed to take care of um, other people. How is it that you are taking care of them? How do you feel about it? And how do they feel about it? 
Yes, I think that uh, uh, this person is special. I mean, it's a special doctor. Elena is uh, very special. Elena is, uh, Elena is very special. So uh, she is a she's so... not your only medical doctor student. You have others as well. I have others. And, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, I think that... Uh, uh, um, Luckily, there is a group of uh, medical doctors that uh, have the feeling, the clear feeling that uh, a medicine is, uh, allopathic medicine is not the only way. And they found, they have studied uh, this way, but they, they need another, uh, uh, another way to study. And most of them, they come to yoga because uh, they are looking for a different way to help uh, also they help. And uh, for example, I have uh, uh, two young uh, uh, physicians. They are uh, working in, in, in the public uh, hospital and they are so stressed right now from the COVID experience. So uh, uh, they ask my help and uh, uh, to sustain their uh, the emotionally path because they are young, very young. They are just thirty at the beginning of the thirties, and but big responsibility in this this time in, in, to work in a hospital is really really stressful, uh, and they feel that they cannot uh, have the help from their medicine. So that yoga uh, is a way to sustain them. And so giving them a, a short practice, supervised practice, energetic uh, practice, but also to maintain the contact with the heart. You know, it's the only way to help their patients to contact with the heart. And so it's, a, it's really, really beautiful. It's really a, a very nice experience that I have in through, and especially with Elena because we also work together and she is so humble and she wants to learn so much and she's studying so much. <laughs> she's fantastic. She is. We are very lucky to have her as one of our international patrons of Vini Yoga tradition. So she's not yet a Vini Yoga teacher, but she's in the direction, I think we will see. Yeah. Perhaps in the future, I will have to talk to her. Um, Grazia, two last questions I have. You, earlier you said that one of the favorite things about the Vini Yoga tradition for you was the Yoga Sutra. So my question for you is, which is your favorite sutra among the whole Yoga Sutra? And why is it your favorite? Don't tell me all the sutras, just choose one. No, I, I love, I love uh, everything, but uh, I think that uh, <clears throat> Uh, it is uh, um, a sutra that was uh, also uh, so important for me that it is the sutra on, of the first chapter on Shraddha. One, uh, uh, nine, 120. 20, yes. And uh, the sutra Shraddha uh, helped, made me... Uh, um, have the experience in myself how uh, important it is to uh, trust in this deep feeling uh, of uh, that you have to to uh, how do you say in English? It's difficult for me. It's like to hear your heart, be yeah. in contact with your heart, and uh, uh, there you will find the strength to uh, front any kind of difficult experience. You know, I've changed the, uh, the country, I've changed the language, I've uh, got married, I got uh, divorced, then I married another time, then I had this, it, it, such, uh, and a lot of people of my family died. And so I had uh, experience of any kind as any people, but uh, I have, I never lost my Shraddha and uh, um, not only in yoga, in my Dharma. I mean, I think that yoga is my Dharma and my Dharma and Shraddha are, are the same. Like 
they are supporting one each other. So it, um, it's the one that I love. I'm very happy to hear that because it is also one of my favorite sutras. Um, and if I have to choose one, probably that would be the one because without Shraddha, nothing is possible. And uh, so uh, it was also my father's favorite sutra. That is why he named my daughter Shraddha after this. Mm, yes. Ah, yeah. that's the last question for you, Grazia, is what is your message for uh, the future yoginis, the ladies uh, in the future? Um, what is your message for them? Uh, I would like to say to women, um, respect yourself love deeply yourself, connect with your heart because it's your strength. Your strength is there. It's not in your mind, it's not in your body, it's not in, uh, in some masculine energy that uh, sometimes we, uh, we get confused. The strength is in the heart and the feminine heart is special because it's uh, it has been created to, to take care, to take care of children, of elders. And, uh, and so it has a, a, a special sensitivity to the needs of others. That's why in the Vini, Vini Yoga world, I think there are such big women and a lot of women because uh, take care needs uh, a special connection with the heart. And so I think that uh, they, they, they could find uh, their uh, ability, their strength and their uh, uh, capacity to front any, any difficult and uh, front the future in the heart. Trust in it. It's Put so it beautiful to because this is what I truly believe in. And I think you are so right that uh, women have a very special heart, a heart to care. And I have experienced this myself and uh, I really have nothing more to say. You said it so beautifully and I completely agree with you and uh, surrender to this uh, concept because um, my father taught me many, many things, uh, many, many things and, but it's actually, some very important women that made me a better and more complete person, be it my mother, be it my daughter, or be it my ex-wife Evelyn, they all were the people who made me a better person and I'm always grateful for that. And you are so right about this, I completely agree. So Grazia, this has been such a nice time. It is one hour has gone so quickly. Um, and so I really want to thank you for sharing your heart with such a beautiful open heart. And I'm so glad you chose the red shirt because it is so important in your history and uh, in our history with the red relaxed t-shirt many years ago. I think I still have the photo somewhere with you in the t-shirt. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very, very fantastic to have uh, been there with you, friends. Uh, if you found this uh, talk interesting, let us know through your comments. Please feel free to share this with uh, other people uh, in your social media streams. We will be very, very happy to that you share it because the more this spreads, the more we are uh, having to hear the voice of powerful women. And it's very auspicious because normally I had planned these talks to be on Fridays, but Grazia was not available tomorrow. So we put it today and today is a very, very auspicious day in India. It's a day of Pongal. It's a day of uh, what we call uh, um, uh, nourishment and uh, plenty and prosperity. And so uh, that's what is the meaning of Pongal. It means we allow the rice to just, uh, I don't know the English word, in Tamil, it's Pungarada, which means literally it's Pungal. It means like overflowing. So it's like plenty. So it's a great auspicious day for India. It's also the day where the sun starts to starts to move from south to the north once again. It's a very auspicious time. And so we're so auspicious that we started this 
day with gratia. It's the first day of the month called Thai, which is also a very auspicious day. And so we are so happy that gratia, you participated on this day and you are so perfectly unavailable tomorrow. As me and your dear friend Victor always say, the plan is perfect, just not our plan. Yes. Having said that, my friends, we are going to have the next interview on the 29th of January, two weeks from now, two weeks and one day from now. It's going to be on a Friday. And we have another power woman, and I think this will be a surprise even to Grazia. We are going to have another person from Italy, Chandra Kufaro, who is a very, very old student of my father. She met my father probably like 40 plus years ago. And she is going to be talking with all of us on the 29th of January around two o'clock India time. So please mark your diaries. I am going to make the announcement as well in the next days. So please do that my friends and let's celebrate the powerful women of Vini Yoga. Thank you, Thank you, friends. Namaste, grazia. Thank you, namaste.